speech language pathologists usually say that a child needs articulation treatment if their errors are only limited to a few sounds. These articulation errors involve consonant sounds, typically incorrect placement and or movement of the tongue, and the errors are consistent. One commonly treated articulation error that most people know of is lisping. In this case, a child places their tongue in between their teeth, creating a th sound, instead of behind their teeth, creating a s or z sound. SLPs often treat errors with er, f, k, and g as well. If a child has difficulty with many different sounds, an SLP is less likely to classify this as an articulation error. Instead, they might conclude that there is an error with an entire category of sounds, indicating a possible motor speech disorder or a phonological disorder. More on both of these later. For now, we'll keep our focus on articulation. In most cases, articulation issues just happen, and there's no clear cause. There are, however, a few instances where we can point to a specific cause. The first is pacifier use. If kids use pacifiers for too long, sometimes they'll start to try to talk around the pacifier and create bad habits in the way they use their mouth for speech. This means that sounds requiring them to use the tip of their tongue might be distorted or missing. These kids often have issues with the t, d, s, z, or n sounds. The second specific cause is what we call tongue thrust. Sometimes when kids lisp, they put their tongue between their front teeth, but it's possible that they thrust their tongue forward when they make other sounds too, including t, d, n, ch, and or sh. Kids with a tongue thrust speech pattern usually have this because they have a tongue thrust swallow pattern. Yes, I know, that sounds super technical, but bear with me. Tongue thrust can develop when a child uses bottles, pacifiers, spouted sippy cups, or suck their thumbs too long. This type of articulation error is best treated by a professional. A speech therapist will know how to address the swallow pattern first, and then correct the placement of the actual sounds after. Lastly, articulation errors can sometimes be caused by dental issues. For example, extreme overbites or underbites. This is another instance of a habit being formed when attempting to talk around something in the mouth. In my experience, once the dental issues are corrected, kids adapt quickly and start speaking normally either on their own or with only brief speech therapy. Articulation issues in kids are very common. I would bet money that in any given kindergarten to second grade class, there are at least a handful of kids with articulation challenges. When I became a speech therapist, countless adults I knew came to me and confessed that they had been seen by a speech therapist at some point to correct a lisp or a distorted R sound. So if you're concerned about your child's speech sounds, don't worry, you're not alone, and getting help with articulation is more common than you might think.